for the ongoing opioid litigation paying off for Grayson County again. The county received over $700,000 back in March, and today, News 12's Aaron Pillay tells us how much more is on the way. In Tuesday's commissioner's court meeting, Grayson County reached another settlement in the ongoing opioid litigations. With Walgreens, Walmart, and CVS, all the retail pharmacies. Grayson County District Attorney Brett Smith says the county will receive $380,000. It will pay, be paid out over a term of years and it will go into the general fund of Grayson County. Smith says the settlement will also add nearly $23 million into the Texas Region 18 Opioid Abatement Trust Fund. The trust fund is a statewide initiative to help parts of Texas that have been affected by the crisis. Grayson County shares with Collin, Denton, and Rockwall counties. Smith says city leaders, officials, and organizations can apply for grants from the fund. Anyone who wants to work to combat the continuing, essentially what's morphed into the fentanyl crisis. So we're going to see these funds being used for lots of really good things in the future. Smith says his office has been investigating opioid litigation claims against manufacturers, retailers, and distributors for a few years. In 2018, um, that was when the opioid crisis was pretty much at head, and uh, we saw a lot of destruction in Grayson County. Tuesday's settlement has taken a year to reach, but Smith says this is not the end. Litigation is ongoing. In Sherman, Aaron Pillay, News 12.